Hi, my name is Anita Valencia, and this is Una Plática. I guess my mother, I, we always did art since I was a little girl. She would draw all these little stories for me, and I just always, always did art. When I was in school, in third grade, the teacher needed somebody to do tulips for a poster, and everybody said, ask Anita, she's the artist. And I guess I've always felt that I was an artist. <laughs> all my life, but I guess I can say that seriously, when my children were already grown, my mother gave me a gift uh, certificate for the San Antonio Art Institute, and I started taking classes seriously. Before that, I was always just plain painting on my own and trying to do landscapes and little pretty things. And, but I guess seriously, when I started doing my big public art installations, I felt that I was an artist. born and raised here, and I plan to stay here. <laughs> yes, it's very important, and, I, and I'll tell you why. It's, it supports local artists. When we come here, we feel comfortable, and you can see art, and it's not like going into a museum that, you know, you don't, you know it's, it's a museum. It's like a chapel or a church or something or galleries that are there for sale. When you come here, it's your community. And it gives the local artists a chance to see each other and to be aware of what's going on in the arts locally. It's very important. The Virgen de Guadalupe. In fact, my very first involvement with El Centro was at Las Palmas, and I had a piece of the Virgin of Guadalupe, and it sold immediately, and that really surprised me. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, maybe that I'm 90 years old and I just started taking ballet lessons. <laughs> I think first of all they should see as much art and, and go to as many art exhibits, go to as much museums and see what other arts are, artists are doing and how they do it, really know what's going on in the arts and then they have to develop a very tough skin because you get a lot of rejections, you get a lot of ugly reviews and it hurts and, but it should make you tougher and if that is your dream then you should go on for it. Okay, this is from a series, Joy of Art. And as you can see, it's all um, bottle caps. I'm very concerned about the environment, about all the waste we do, about how dis we discard everything. Everywhere you walk, you see, of course, bottle caps. And I wanted to make a statement with my art. I wanted to show that just how much is wasted. And so I call it my, my discard, discard objects to make fine art. My very first um, public art installation was out of discarded uh, cigarette wrappers. I made a 30-foot quilt, and it was exhibited at, at the, the international airport here in San Antonio. And since then, all my art is done with, re with discarded materials. This is made from recycled um, aluminum cans, and it is butterflies. I cut, I cut the cans and then fold them origami style into butterflies. It's, the series is just butterflies, and I have quite a few of them. Because I love my garden. I spend a lot of time in my garden. I have a lot of flowers and plants that are for butterflies, and there isn't anything more beautiful than the butterflies flying. In fact, uh, when I was commissioned to do a bench at the river walk, um, I went and looked at the space, and I was trying to think, what am I going to do? And all of a sudden, I saw all these butterflies all over the space, so I, I created a butterfly bench for the river walk. Mm -hmm. 